Welcome back for another edition of Screen Time. My voice sounds a little bit different this week. I'm getting over some kind of fit I had down here. Couldn't speak earlier in the week, but a bit more time for movies after homework and whatnot. So this week I watched actually about two or three movies. That's like two more than usual because I should be doing schoolwork, but I found some time. And I had a choice to go through here, but one I really, really, really wanted to talk about was a favorite book of mine that I read in high school and I thought the movie was great. I saw it in high school because it came out right in the time we were reading the book so right when we finished they took us on a field trip to go see it and I just think it's phenomenal. You know most people it had a, about a 50-50 on it. It was hit or miss but today we've got The Great Gatsby. If you went to a normal public high school you probably had to read this book or they made you watch the movie with Robert Redford, which, great movie, great movie. But this movie is out of the water. Leonardo DiCaprio, this is one of his all-time best movies. And how this movie did not win him an Oscar, I don't know. Now, he went all out for The Revenant, and that was a great movie, but it wasn't as good as some of his others, and it wasn't his best acting performance. This movie and The Departed should have won him an Oscar alone. They were great. There was, there's plenty of stuff in here. It, it, it has Leonardo DiCaprio, has Tobey Maguire, ex-Spider-Man, you know, and from, he got made fun of for being Spider-Man, but seeing him bounce back, especially in this part, it, it's a little bit of a different role. So to make this movie appeal now in the 20s, they had to add a lot of in today's stuff. So. It was set in 1922, you know, Prohibition, everything's going on, and everyone knows the story of Gatsby. Throws his parties. Well, they had to add in that flair of today, don't show the boring. So, Jay-Z, the rapper, helped produce some of this music. They mixed it in together with old style music and rap music. So, while you see a classical party from the 20s, you're getting in that new music vibe, so you're not completely tuned out with big band swing and it, it was a really nice mix. I didn't think something like that would go together, but it did. Leonardo DiCaprio's acting is just, it's so flawless in this movie. His, everything he did from old sport to taking Tobey Maguire underneath his wing to trying to win back Daisy. It, it's a beautiful story, beautiful book. The movie, it's just well done. The imagery of it, even in the book it talked about how when he went to go visit Daisy, she was so innocent and it, it talked about the first time he saw her came overwhelmed that the white curtains were flowing in and it brought out her beautiness. The movie shot that perfectly. She's sitting on her couch, the, all the windows are open, the white curtains are blowing. So it's, it's the imagery was shot perfect on with it. It's a long movie. It's over two hours, two hours and 20 minutes, but it's two hours and 20 minutes of greatness right here. This is an instant classic. It's, it's, people are gonna recognize it more and more how great it really was. So for me, this movie definitely gets two thumbs up. If I had three, I would give it three. No matter how many thumbs I had, that's how many thumbs it would get up. It's beautiful artwork, beautiful directing, beautiful acting, it's, it's all well done. I will leave the trailer for this video down below in the description if you're interested in seeing that. Don't forget to subscribe to Blue Kazoo Media. Listen, we're everything entertainment. We got screen time. We got smoothie videos. We have Jay's Kitchen. There's a lot of things that happen and goes around in Blue Kazoo Media. So if you're really interested, give us a subscribe. Won't disappoint. Until next week, fellas.